Okay, tumbat.com. So tunaendelea na ile pale nilipo share image of the parabola. Kwa parabola tuliona ni ile shape inajitokeza baada ya kuchola graph ya quadratic function. Sasa kuna kitu kinaitwa vertex. Vertex ni zile point za mwisho ambako kuna turning point pale ndio ambako sasa tunakuja kudeli na kitu kinaitwa symmetry of parabola. Hii symmetry of parabola ni ile vertical line ambayo ina pass through the vertex ya make ile sehemu katika hizi point hapo. Hapo ndio ukishaona kupitia. Sasa kuna hii general form hapa ya quadratic equation ya yote lazima iwe nayo. Kwamba f of x a x h square plus hk hizi h na k ni zile value za kwenye ile vertex ni zile ni seven zile point za vertex pale ambavyo tunaweza tukazipata kwa kutumia concept hii hapa kwamba h ni sawa sawa na a yani x kwa mfano tuna quadratic equation yetu iko kwenye format ya a okay ni quadratic you let's say a x square plus b x plus c mbona kwa h itakuwa ni sawa sawa na b b negative b minus 2 i'd say negative b over 2a na k itakuwa ni sawa sawa na 4ac minus b square over 4a kwa hii inatokana na nini na kwa mfano tulipokuwa tuna solve kwa dot equation kule kwenye tulitumia ile njia ya completing the square tukaja tukatengeneza kitu fulani hivi ambacho somehow kinafanana na hiki umeona kwa hii inatusaidia nini au kwa nini tujifunze hii form hapa na tu, yeah, sorry i mean kwa nini tujifunze hii form hapa na pia kwa nini tujue value za hizi 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 value za h katika hizi ni vertex point hii ni x hii ni y umeona kwa lazima tuzijue kwa na kuna maswali kwa mfano uh, utakuta swali kama hili una unapewa swali unasimua na hii ndo line of symmetry ya nyamba tunaisoma h and k is ndo vertex yenyewe tunaweza kuona hivyo find the vertex of the parabola the same nakuja kama hivi pala, unapewa parabola hii kwa mbona inajulikana sasa hii ni parabola au solve so kuna njia nyingi kwa mfano hii si a bit complicated kwa tunaweza tukatumia ile njia yetu sasa hii ambayo nimesema hapa kwamba h ni sawa sawa na b mina, uh, negative b 2a aksole nyeri kuku so solve hapo tumesema tunataka nataka tutafute vertex umeona tumesema vertex equals to let's say hapa tulete hapa hapa let's say hapa sawa sawa moja si ndio b yetu ni hiyo kwa let's say tuseme a yetu kwenye equation ni sawa sawa na moja b yetu ni sawa sawa na negative 2 tuchukue c c yetu ni ngapi c yetu c yetu ni tatu mbona sasa tumeambiwa tutafute vertex ambayo tumeambiwa vertex tumeambiwa h ni sawa sawa na negative b over 2 a mbona kwa h tunaweza tukaipata hapo alafu k tumeambiwa k equals to 4 ac minus b over Oh, hey, I think here is b square, right? Yeah, b square. So kwa hiyo unaweza kaona swali inaweza kaisha hapo kirahisi kwamba tukaingiza tu hizo value kwa mfano hapo market tutakuja tutakuja kupata vipi tuone hapo. B kwa negative 2 hapo tutapata 2 over a1 kwa 2. Kwao tutakuja kupata h sasa na 1 then b tunakuja pataje b inakuja kuwa 4ac c sawa sana ngapi tatu ambayo tutapata 12 12 tuki minus na b square tunapata 4 tunapata ngapi 12 minus na 4 tunapata 8 8 divided by 4 tunakuja tunapata ngapi then so easy so the answer uh, So the answer will be h is of vertex itakuwa h equals to 1 k equals to k equals to 2 So then the vertex call it means vertex z zitakuwa sawa sawa nini 
Tukwa sawa sana. 1 2. Tumesema vertex ni ile point pale ambako ile parabola sasa ndio inapita. Yaani tuone huko yeye kapataje alivyosolve. Same kwamba 1 2 kwa kutumia aja tujatumia this is the wrong form hii formula ambayo ni ndefu. Kwa hiyo lakini unaweza kaamua usolve ya hii au vipi. Kwa hiyo application of quadratic equation tukishaona hizo ni moja kutafuta minimum na max is the same thing ndo kama ambacho nilichokuwa nilichokuwa naelekeza pale kutafuta minimum um unaweza kupewa hizi hapa utafute tunatafuta minimum value na maximum value ya kujua kwamba ni minimum value au maximum value unaangalia ile x i mean ile a ikiwa greater than 0 and same same as this thing here if you greater than 0 or equal positive it means tunapata maximum tunapata tunapata least value au tunasema minimum value ikiwa greater ikiwa ikiwa less than 0 tunapata nini the greatest value so i think that's cool so tunaendelea na session ya kitu kingine ambacho tunasema polynomial function hii polynomial function tunaweza tuka tukaelezea zaidi kwa kule kwa mambo ya combination and permutation ambayo yashaelekezwa session zilizo tangolia kwa the thing here si tunachotaka tujaribu tuone and the way tunaweza tuka divide hizi polynomial function kwa mfano unaokuta swali kama hili hapa kwa sasa hapa ndo tunakutana na kitu kinaitwa remainder theorem hii remainder theorem inasemaje kwamba tunatukipewa polynomial function lakini tukupewa na kitu equation statement kama hii then the remainder na kwa sawa sawa na functional remainder na kwa sawa sawa na function yani tukiingiza ile value ya c pale kwenye tuki tukitumia ile value ya c kwenye ile function ambayo tumepewa kwa mfano tumepewa function hii hapa hii sasa kutafuta remainder tunachokifanya kama tume tutafuta use the remainder theorem to show that x is less is the factor of f of x um, so tunafanyaje kwa tunachokifanya tuna 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 substitute hii hapa hii tunachukua hii tu hii variable hii then tunaingiza hapa kwenye kwa sababu value of x kiingiza hapo inatakiwa iwe sawa sawa na hii hapo umeona. Kwa hiyo then tunafanya tuna tuna substitute kwa sababu market tutapata moja umeona tuki substitute hii 13 kwenye hii function hapa. Hii function ambayo ndio g nataka to 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 show to use remainder theorem show that this is a fact of hii hapo umeona. Kwa sababu from tukichukua f of x tukigawanya na ile remainder ambayo tumepewa tunatakiwa tupate kitu gani inatakiwa um, iwe sawa sawa na hii hapa kuonyesha kwamba tuweze kujua kwamba kitakacho kwamba hii ni factor yani <coughs> kwamba tukigawanya sasa hii na hii inabaki ngapi inabaki ya moja so kama itakuwa inabaki ya moja it means this is a factor ya hiyo nene hiyo hiyo function so this how we show so good after factor it means tukigawanya tunapata moja so here hata tukiingiza hiyo value hapa kwa hiyo hapa tumeonyesha then tume pia tena tume tafuta value it's the same thing so kuna hiyo remainder theorem au then tuna tuna factor theorem factor theorem nayo unachokifanya wewe sasa hapa utofauti wake hii hapa hii unaiting like equation sasa ili iwe factor maana yake it means inatakiwa f of f of tukiingiza ile c tupate nini tupate 0 umeona sasa na hii hapa ukishapewa hivi it means inatakiwa kama kwa mfano umeona hapa umepewa x 2 sasa ili tupate jibu it means inatakiwa utafute value ya ya x ile pale ili then tu tu tuingize tuingize tupate jibu ambalo litatuletea nini negative 0 umeona kwa mfano kama hapa x imekuwa thamani yake ni ngapi um a pronoun function as a factor if and the only if, if x equals to 0 so it will be a factor for, for the factor theorem sasa ukiachana na ile remainder theorem kwamba huko sasa ukiingiza ile value ya c upata sawa sawa nini na 0 hiyo ndio unapata nini kwamba hiyo factor ambayo unakuwa umeambiwa inakuwa ni factor ya hiyo function so let's see here tumepewa example if x you show that x plus 2 is a factor of kwa nini tunatakiwa tujue sisi tukichukua hii c hapa tukiingiza kwenye hiyo function tupate nini tupate 0 ili hii hii hi, hapa hii iweze kuwa nini factor ya hii function so step by step ko if is a factor then si natakiwa iwe sawa sana nini na 0 ko kitu cha kwanza kabisa inachotakiwa tufanye 
it means kwamba hii question yote market tunaikwet sana zero ili tuweze jua kwamba hii kweli tukiingiza tutapata zero so then kazi inaanza hapo tukichukua then hapo ya yeah, negative bill ko let's say we put it inside there and we get to f of 2 so here una equate sa sana 0 then una market kwa x sa sana negative 2 so then tunaingiza hapa kwenye value ya x sio tumeelewana hapo then we come again we see f of x we can get to call then tukifanya hapo almost itakuja 0 hiyo hapo so that's it that's how we solve so kuna maswali kama ya compost function ya fog of is tunapozungumza compost function it means is a function ambazo zinakuwa zimebebana yani umeona zinakuwa zimebebana ko it means for kuna kwa kuna function mbili moja na kwa ndani ya mwenzake na kwa zinaingiliana yani mhm ya kama hapa for it means una solve kwanza ile for of the product inapatikana unaingiza tena kwenye function ile nyingine inayofuata so this how the think There are some other question of exponential function and in and in these are the functions that we can solve like question like this on the population growth question these are the exponential function or the growth factor for somebody population of population of the popular town of Smithville in or the cemented to be you have people with an annual free rate increase growth about 2.4%. Uh, What is the growth factor for Tiburing solution? So this is how we deal with these.